it's a big opportunity. This year's forum theme, Asia, shaping the new paradigm for growth, captures Hong Kong's singular ability to bring East and West together in pursuit of business and investment opportunities. In Hong Kong, according to the Women's Commission, 30% of married women leave the workforce for either uh, children or aging parents or family obligations. So the women are getting cut off midway. And it's really difficult to back, get back in. So we've started a program to bring women who have been out of work for several years back into the workforce. So uh, I made a very big decision to stop the operation of Sam Intercontinental Hotel in those days. It was running for 48 years. And then I took that worst chance to invest 600 million US dollars investment in the middle of crisis. I demolished hotel and I built Sam Paragon, which finally become one of the best shopping mall in Southeast Asia. Well, I came on board at that moment simply because I ran marketing, you know, uh, proposals for other businesses. And so my father one day at home was saying, well, you are helping all these other companies and not helping us. So I said, well, will you allow me? If you allow me, I will come in and maybe I will look at what our issues are. We were suffering from image problems and so on. The business was deteriorating. So I went in, starting from there, I offered the women's perspective. Later on, when there's a change in the, whole, the, the management side of Contrite's group, um, that's where the board decided, hey, let's let Deanna have a try because she really walked from bottom up. And that's why I got the opportunity to, to be the general manager of a five-star hotel. Um, at that time, I was only 24. I became a politician by being a member of the Hong Kong Legislative Council. And I never thought in my life that I would take up equal opportunities issues. I never thought that it was possible to have the opportunity between 1993 and the year 2000. That was when Hong Kong passed a whole series of equal opportunities law. And I was right in the center of it. Women are equal to men until... <laughs> Here comes the until. Women are equal to men until they need to have babies. Looking back on the last um, 20 plus years of my career, I sometimes think I am so fortunate because the progression of my personal career has really coincided with the rise of China. My belief is women should not be lived to themselves and be independent at all situations. So start to have this confidence when you are young. But it is never too late to begin even for those mature women. Hello, David.